We learned in class that buffers are solutions that resist change in pH. Buffers are usually a solution of a weak acid and its conjugate base. The presence of both the weak acid and the base allow for the solution to react with any added hydrogen ions or hydroxide ions. Say we have a buffer solution and a compound that dissociates into H+, an acid, is added. Once H+, is added, it will react with the weak base to shift equilibrium towards the protonated form of the buffer. On the other hand, say a strong base containing OH- ions is added. In this case, hydroxide will react with the protonated form of the buffer to shift the equilibrium to favor the production of the deprotonated form of the buffer. In this way, a buffer solution will prevent the ratio of H plus to OH minus from changing drastically. Thus, it is ensured the pH will only change slightly. Here is a simpler way to imagine buffers in action. Think of a ballroom full of dancers. We have the acid dancers and the base dancers. These dancers will partner up with any new H plus or OH minus dancers that step onto the dance floor. Once they have partnered up, very few H plus or OH minus dancers are left without a partner. Thus, the overall amount of free H plus or OH minus dancers does not change much. Now we will explore an important buffering system, the carbonic acid bicarbonate buffering system, or the bicarbonate system for short. Why is this relevant to you? Well, this system is responsible for buffering the pH of your blood every day. Blood pH must be kept as close to 7.4 as possible in order to maintain homeostasis. This equation governs the buffering reactions of bicarbonate. Take another look at the ballroom metaphor. In our blood, our acid dancers are our carbonic acid and our base dancers are our bicarbonate ions. There are two main dances that our blood buffer dancers will perform when blood pH is shifted outside the homeostatic range between 7.38 and 7.42. They will perform acidosis dance once our blood pH has dropped too low. Increased amounts of partnerless H plus dancers enter the dance in acidosis and bicarbonate dancers will partner up with them. For the alkalosis dance, OH minus dancers are partnered up with the carbonic acid dancers to lower pH. But why bicarbonate? The ideal pH of blood at 7.4 is actually outside the buffering range of bicarb. This means that other organs such as the lungs and kidneys must also aid the buffering system in order to maintain a strict regulation of blood pH. As explained earlier, acidosis occurs when pH falls below 7.38 either due to increased CO2 pressures in the blood, which shift equilibrium to produce more H plus in the blood, or due to increased metabolic activity such as in muscle cells, which dumps more H plus and CO2 into the blood as well. To compensate for acidosis, Lungs can do hyperventilation, exhaling more CO2 to quote-unquote blow off acid, or the kidneys can increase HCO3- output, shifting equilibrium to the left to reduce H plus in the blood. On the other hand, alkalosis occurs when blood pH rises above 7.42 due to decreased pressures of CO2 in the blood or high levels of HCO3-, both shifting the equilibrium to the left. To compensate for alkalosis, Lungs can do hypoventilation to retain CO2 in the blood and therefore increase H plus in the blood. Or the kidneys can produce less HCO3 minus to prevent its reaction with H plus. As we have seen, the bicarbonate system is extremely important for maintaining homeostasis. So remember, buffers are important to you.